Have you ever watched athletics coaching long enough and wonder what stories it can tell? There is someone who has done it. Meet 49-year-old Julian Edmonds. Well, my name is Julian Edmonds. I'm a, a level two a certified board athletics coach. I have a diploma in, in track and field. I've been coaching in excess of 20 years and I'm fastly approaching 50. First of all, I was an athlete. Um, you know, I started running in the school system, uh, primary, secondary. And as a matter of fact, I'm, um, you know, I had two records, the 100 and 400 meter record at, at nationals. Um, but how I got involved in coaching is um, Alicia Fortune, um, who was at one time my then club mate. Um, when once I stopped running, um, she wanted someone to coach her. Um, basically, she approached me, and you know, after a lot of deliberations, um, I agreed to to, to to look at her. And within a short space of time, she became you know national champion. She went to Hampton and won some medals. Um, so I decided I've got a fair idea. Um, you know, best I give this a shot. Um, then I basically coached under Dennis Smith. I was an assistant coach for him for a period of time. Um, then I basically, you know, did a coaching course and, 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 and started. That was many years ago. As a, as a coach, you scout, you look for talent. Um, you know, once you see that talent and you, you, you identify that talent, um, you know, you formulate a plan, um, you formulate a plan and, and, and then you try to develop that plan uh, over the years. Um, you know, it depends on, depends on the event. Take for example, you know, we would have, when I first saw, take for example, you know, like about Malakai Arsenal, and this is, is, this is recent. You know, when I looked at his height and his, his, the speed that he possessed, you know, I knew right away that within a, within a year I can have him, you know, down to 47 seconds in a 400. Um, and, 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 you know, once, once we had an initial discussion, that was part of, the, part of the discussion. And, you know, I formulate a plan and stick to it and, and work it stage by stage by stage, you know, until that, that goal was achieved. It's going to be a close one in Canada. Canada, first handover. England, in this case, Guyana, England, Guyana, England, Guyana, 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 Well, as, as, as a coach, you know, it was, it was overwhelming um, to see four youngsters from from Guyana um, at the at the Commonwealth Youth Games. For a lot of people that don't know, the Commonwealth is the is, is the third highest level of competition in the world. You've got the Olympics, you've got the World Championship, and then 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 you have Commonwealth. Um, and to see you know four individuals come together as a team, um, people a lot of people wouldn't know, but our preparations, while, whilst it went well, it was not of the best. It was the rainy season. Um, basically, they were, you know, we had two tracks in Guyana. Both were closed to the, um, to the public. Um, basically, we trained on the other side of the road and, and on grounds that were not suitable as compared to, you know, the developed countries that have all the facilities available uh, to them. With a training program, like, like any building, you know, you start with a foundation. Um, you know, it's not advisable to rush 
training programs. Um, so what, what you do is that you start with a, with a foundation that's basically getting the athlete prepared. That's by, you know, uh, doing work that will get them fit, that will get them strong. Um, in, the, in the general prep preparation phase, then you go into a specific uh, preparation to event. Um, then you go into a pre-competition and competition. Um, along the way, what you do is that during and at the end of each cycle, uh, what you do basically is that you, you, you do a time trials, um, whether it's for speed, for strength, for endurance. Um, and as you go to different cycles, you, you, you continue doing it, um, you know, with a view of the athletes, you know, them improving and, and, and getting better. Okay, well, first of all, you, you've got to understand that athletics basically do not give, give you anything. Give, does not, it gives you minimum monetary reward. As, a, as an aspiring coach, um, at most times you have to go into your pocket um, to, to assist athletes, to, 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 to develop yourself, to, to, to develop um, you know, your club or develop your trade. Um, so that's the first thing you've got to prepare yourself for. Uh, secondly, you've got to, as I said before, you've got to, you've got to read. You've got to, to always try to improve your knowledge, you know, find out what's going on at different parts of the world. Um, thirdly, you've got to be patient. Uh, you know, as a coach, you know, not every athlete you'll get the equal success with, um, but you've got to believe in yourself, believe in what you're doing. And you've got to be very, very, very patient. 